Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is wet, miserable, not very nice. And it's kind of got me in a bit of a creative DIY mood. So I've not done one of these videos for a while now where I just kind of take a few bits and upcycle them. Um, there are a couple of bits I've had in my stash that I've been wanting to kind of just give a new lease of life. I feel like since I got them, my taste has changed a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna repurpose a couple of bits today. First one being this vase here. Um, this vase has been with me for a very long time. It's originally from Wilco's. Um, it's this kind of pinky purpley color. There's nothing wrong with this vase. It's just not my taste. I've already um, upcycled it before. I did this kind of like wooden slat, like black wooden slat effect on it. And um, yeah, I just want to do something a little bit different with it. So I actually have some leftover clay from where I did some ornaments for Christmas. And I thought, I've seen loads of these kind of more free form like clay style vases. Um, and also recently I've been getting loads of like tulips and um, roses and stuff when I do my weekly food shop. And this vase is like the perfect size vase for like tulips and stuff because it's a nice kind of tall, narrow one. So let me chuck in some inspiration photos of what I'm talking about because I wanna keep it this same kind of, obviously I have to, tall um, kind of cylinder shape. But I just wanna add a little bit more kind of texture and interest to it. And I wanna, instead of having this shiny surface, I want more of a matte ceramic type finish. Um, so yeah, idea is that I'm literally just gonna put some clay on top of this vase. I have no idea if this is gonna work out or not. We shall see, but I do wanna keep the inside exactly the same because I want it to be waterproof and yeah, actually be able to store flowers in here. So plan is I'm just gonna sand this down really, really quickly to hopefully just key the surface of this a little bit. And then I'm literally just gonna put clay on it. Um, I will leave the clay that I have linked down below. I got it from Hobbycraft at the end of last year and it's air drying clay so I won't be putting it in the oven I'll be leaving it just to dry it overnight and I'm not sure whether I'm going to paint it or just leave it kind of natural finish but we shall see I'm going to start that one now but then the next thing that I want to upcycle is some Ikea lamps which I have actually already upcycled once and I'll put in a photo of what they were originally like they're really nice big solid um lamps bedside lamps i have a pair of them in my guest bedroom we when we got them they were a really shiny chrome effect i decided that wasn't my vibe anymore i sprayed them matte black and they just don't look quite right they have these white shades on them and i do like the white shades but just the black and the white they just don't it doesn't suit that lamp type in my opinion and yeah i just want something different so i'm gonna be painting them and i'm gonna be doing some like bicarb bicarb baking soda whatever that trend is um i'm gonna be doing some like textured paint and i actually have um some paint that i use to paint the room so i'm gonna be like working with some of those colors some like natural tones and trying to give it more of a kind of natural pottery kind of vibe as well so stay tuned for that for now i'm gonna focus on the vase So I just spent about a million years rolling this out with a bloody Prosecco bottle because I don't have a rolling pin and I just realised I could have just used this. I am an idiot. Anyway, so I've rolled it out to, it's like nearly big enough. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it around, kind of smush it on, cut any bits that I need to cut off and kind of, you know, just try my best to make this work.
Okay, so here it is. Um, it was really, really quick and easy to kind of wrap it on, really. Um, I got a little bowl of water, like dip my fingers in the water just to smooth out anything. But hopefully you guys will be able to see that it's actually like not even, which is the look that I was going for. The only thing is, it's gotten quite a lot of air bubbles in it. So I'm a little bit worried about whether it's actually gonna hold and stick to the vase. I have wrapped it over the top here to like hook it on and kind of like smushed it under as well. Um, I did pierce a lot of the air bubbles, like let the air out and um, yeah, like smooth it over again. But I don't know, I've never done anything like this before. So I've already done it completely wrong, but it's just quite fun trying new things. I actually love the colour that this clay is. Um, I think it was meant to be white clay, but it's kind of like an off-white at the moment. It's not like a pure, brilliant white, which I think is really nice. So if it dries similar to this, I'm going to be so, so, so happy. Um, what I found when I used this clay last time, it's good to use water to kind of smooth any imperfections out. But the more water you add, obviously, the longer it's going to take to dry. This could take like 24 hours to dry. I've got, literally got no idea. So... I'm gonna leave it overnight. I'll have to check back in with you guys tomorrow and see how it turns out. But I'm just about to go and grab my IKEA lamps and get started on those because they should be like a quick, easy fix. Right, so I've just come up here to the spare bedroom where these lamps live, just to kind of show you them in situ. So as you can see, we have a lot of kind of natural gray tones and stuff. There is some black. And don't get me wrong, I don't hate these lamps at all. Um, I think they definitely look nicer black than they did chrome, but they have this kind of, I don't know if you can see, oh, they're a bit dusty. Um, yeah, this, they have like a kind of pottery feel to them. And I do like them in black, but I just think the black with the white shade is a bit jarring. It's just like too much. So I want to keep the white shades as a bit of contrast to the wall behind. And then I'm hoping to kind of, like I said, do that kind of rough baking soda kind of pottery vibe paint on the black, but in a color that kind of matches the wall a little bit more, probably a little bit lighter. So that is the plan and this is the before. Let's take these downstairs and get them painted. baking soda for your paint maybe tip it into a pot before you tip it into the paint because I tipped in way too much and it's literally like this Frankenstein paint that just keeps on like rising very creepy and weird um yeah I just went with it anyway so it's going to be super textured slash weird um but so far it's okay it's going to need another coat let me show you what it's looking like at the moment yes yeah, so you can see that it's like really really kind of like bubbly and textured which i do quite like i think i definitely need to do a second coat i think i'm gonna get rid of some of that and add some more paint to it to kind of <laughs> so the second coat isn't as insane as this but color wise i really like it this is the original paint i had on the walls and i actually had two sample pots which were kind of similar but lighter shades so i ended up just mixing those together and saving this paint in case we need to do touch-ups to the wall or anything um but yeah i think it's turned out a pretty good color so far right guys it is the next day i left everything to dry overnight and i'm going to show it to you now because everything's pretty much done so with the lamps i did a second coat last night and then just left them to dry overnight but what I found was better to do was more of like a dabbing with the brush. The vase um, hasn't turned out exactly how I wanted to. It's still got a little bit of drying left to do, but it's pretty much there. 
I just chucked it in some artificial flowers, but I will show you how they turned out now. Okay, so here is the vase. Um, like I said, it needs to dry a little bit more at the bottom, but can you see that it all cracked? Which I wasn't expecting it to do. And although it wasn't really the look I was going for, I think I actually kind of like it. Um, I just chucked in this, I think this is actually from Amazon. It's meant to be like an artificial eucalyptus. Um, yeah, I just chucked it in for now, but I really, really like the kind of neutral of the vase. So I haven't painted it or anything. That's just how the clay dried. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely more my style than what it was originally like. Um, so yeah, I think I might put that on my island. It's just to add a little bit more green to the space. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I could always like fill in the gaps a little bit. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty chuffed considering like the vase was literally just sat in my garage for God knows how long. I think it's a good way to kind of make use of something that didn't really fit my space before. Okay, and here are, please excuse the bed, the dogs have been lying on it. Um, here are the lamps. So I just think they fit in a lot better. They kind of like blend in a little bit more with the color of the wall, um, rather than kind of standing out like they did before. Hopefully be able to see the kind of texture on like the paint. It's kind of like an uneven, bumpy kind of pottery type texture, which is what I was going for. And I wanted it a similar kind of tone to the wall, so they're a little bit lighter. But yeah, they turned out absolutely perfect. And I think this is just like a lot more, it just goes with the style of the lamp a lot more. They're that kind of like slightly traditional pottery style. So really, really happy with how these turned out. Yeah, I think that looks really, really cute. Much better than before. Right guys, so that was everything that I did. Just really, really quick, easy ones. I did that in like an evening. Um, but I just like kind of sharing these little bits with you. I like kind of crafting and doing little DIY bits. Um, and I like just repurposing stuff because I feel like my style changes all the time and I don't want to chuck out stuff and buy new stuff. So it's nice to kind of be able to, yeah, just switch things up. I didn't buy anything for this video. I literally just reused stuff that I already had in my stash. So it just goes to show that you can change the vibe of something pretty easy and quickly. But yeah, I hope you guys have, although this is probably a really, really quick video, I hope you guys have enjoyed those little bits. Um, I'm also filming a lot more stuff on my Instagram as well. I've been really enjoying doing like reels and stuff. So I'm gonna film a couple of reels for those now. Um, so yeah, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go check out my Instagram, because I'm gonna, yeah, try and do a lot more reels and stuff on there as well. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.